Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the 1970 Lincoln Penny, a small copper coin that might just be hiding a significant fortune. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets behind this elusive piece of currency. Before we unveil the potential value of the 1970 Lincoln Penny, let's take a trip down memory lane. In 1970, the U.S. Mint accidentally omitted the mint mark on a small number of these pennies, creating a rarity that has since captivated collectors worldwide. What makes the 1970 Lincoln penny so special? It's scarcity. With the missing mint mark, these coins are exceptionally rare. The scarcity has driven up their value among collectors, making them highly sought after in the numismatic community. Now, let's talk about how to identify if you have the valuable 1970 Lincoln penny. Check the date carefully. If there's no mint mark, absence of S or D, you might be holding a hidden gem. Don't forget to inspect the coin's overall condition, as well-preserved specimens fetch higher prices. Curious about the potential worth? Well, brace yourselves. Depending on its condition, the 1970 Lincoln penny without a mint mark can range from hundreds to thousands of dollars in value. Rarity truly pays off in the world of coin collecting. We've heard incredible stories of everyday people stumbling upon this rare penny in their pocket change or old coin collections. Share your discoveries with us in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. And there you have it, the 1970 Lincoln penny, a small coin with a big story and an even bigger potential value. Keep your eyes peeled, fellow collectors. You never know where you might find a hidden treasure. Finally, this coin's value in market 56790 DALR. If you enjoyed this journey into numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating coin tales. We have an exciting episode for you as we delve into the world of numismatics to explore the 1970 D. Jefferson nickel. You won't believe how much this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth. First things first, let's kick off with a brief history lesson on the 1970 D. Jefferson nickel. It was a pivotal year for coin production, and the Denver Mint played a crucial role. Learn more about the coin's minting process and why the 1970 D. stands out. Now, here comes the exciting part. The rarity factor. We'll uncover why the 1970 D. Jefferson nickel is considered one of the rarest coins in circulation. Get ready to be amazed by the low mintage numbers and the circumstances that contributed to its scarcity. Time to talk numbers. We'll dive into the current market value of the 1970 D. Jefferson nickel. From auctions to private sales, We'll explore real-life examples of how much this coin has fetched in recent transactions. You might be surprised by the figures. For all you coin hunters out there, we'll provide tips on how to identify a valuable 1970 D. Jefferson nickel. From mint marks to overall condition, understanding the key indicators can make all the difference in spotting a hidden gem in your collection. We've scoured the internet for some amazing stories of individuals stumbling upon a valuable 1970 D. Jefferson nickel. Join us as we share these tales of unexpected fortune and the thrill of discovering a rare coin in everyday pocket change. As we wrap up today's episode, it's clear that the 1970 D. Jefferson nickel is more than just spare change. It's a piece of numismatic history with the potential to turn heads and wallets. Remember to check your coin jars and piggy banks. You might be holding a small fortune. Finally, this coin's value in market 45622 DALR. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the 1970D Jefferson nickel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and share your own coin discoveries in the comments below. We're diving into the world of numismatics, to uncover the secrets behind a seemingly ordinary coin, the 1970 Washington Quarter Dollar. You might be surprised to learn that this unassuming coin could be hiding a significant fortune. Stay tuned to find out more. Our journey begins with the rarity of the 1970 Washington Quarter. Unlike other years, 
the U.S. Mint didn't officially produce quarters with a 1970 date due to a change in the Mint's coinage process. However, a small number of these quarters managed to slip through the cracks, making them extremely scarce and valuable. Next, let's explore how to identify the rare varieties of the 1970 Washington Quarter. Look for subtle differences in the design mint marks and other features. Some may have a small D mint mark, indicating production at the Denver Mint, while others lack a mint mark altogether. These variations can significantly impact the coin's value. Grading plays a crucial role in determining the value of your 1970 Washington Quarter. Coins in better condition often fetch higher prices. Learn about the grading scale and the specific characteristics graders look for, such as luster, wear, and any potential damage. Now, let's get to the exciting part. What is the market value of a 1970 Washington Quarter today? We'll delve into recent sales and auction results to give you a realistic expectation of what collectors and investors are willing to pay for this rare coin. To wrap things up, we'll hear from numismatic experts who will share their insights and tips on maximizing the value of your 1970 Washington Quarter. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, these nuggets of wisdom will guide you on your journey to unlocking the potential fortune within this coin. There you have it, folks. The 1970 Washington Quarter might just be your ticket to a hidden treasure. Check your coin collections, do your research, and who knows? You might be holding on to a valuable piece of history. Finally, this coin's value in market $4,500. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin-related content. We have an exciting episode for you as we dive into the mystery surrounding the 1970 dime coin, rumored to be worth a small fortune. Now, before we jump into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our fascinating coin discoveries. All right, let's get started. The year 1970 holds a special place in the hearts of coin collectors, as it marks an anomaly in the production of dimes. In 1970, the U.S. Mint officially ceased producing dimes for circulation, making any dime from that year quite unique. But here's where it gets really interesting. There's a specific version of the 1970 dime that could be hiding in your pocket change or old coin collection, and it's worth much more than its face value. Can you guess what it is? Drumroll, please! It's the 1970 S. Roosevelt dime, the S indicating that it was minted in San Francisco. What sets this dime apart is its low mintage, making it a rare find that can fetch a substantial price in the collector's market. To shed more light on this hidden treasure, we spoke to renowned coin expert, Kasim, who shared some valuable insights. The 1970s dime is highly sought after due to its scarcity. With a lower mintage compared to other years, finding one in excellent condition can make it a real gem for collectors. So how much could your 1970s dime be worth? Well, the value varies based on its condition and rarity. Some have been known to fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars in auctions. There you have it, folks, the 1970s dime, a hidden treasure that might be lying right under your nose. Check your coin collections, inspect your pocket change, and who knows, you might be holding a small fortune. Finally, this coin's value in market 57700 dollar. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share your coin discoveries in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting.